what's up, incoming freshman? Uh, my name is Alden Darby. I play football. Um, my second year here. So basically, what we're about to do is take a little campus tour, show you guys how the campus looks like and where the spots are. Um, Y'all real lucky because when I first got here, I had to walk in this 120 degree heat and I was burning up because I had a sweater on because I came from Cali. So y'all getting real lucky right now. So just uh, sit back and enjoy the tour, all right? And I'm Holland Crook. I play soccer. And with us on our campus tour, we have Erin, who's from Devil's Advocate, and she's going to show us around. Hey, guys. So I'm a tour guide, like Holland said. Um, first, while we're here, I'm just going to talk a little bit about Sun Devil Stadium. Um, you guys are going to be hanging out here a lot um, at the Carson Student Athlete Center. Um, Sun Devil Stadium here holds about 73,000 people at full capacity, so make sure you come out to football games. They're super fun. Um, yeah, and we'll get started on the tour. Oh, one more thing. We got right here, we got Sparky rocking the New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be killing this year in these jerseys, so. I mean, without further ado, let's get it cracking. Hey guys, so our first stop today is here at Student Services. Um, this is a really important building for not just student athletes, but everyone to know about. Uh, on the first floor here, we have the um, undergraduate admissions office. Do you have any questions about um, getting into the university, things like that? Um, we also have the registrar's office so if you ever need transcripts or anything like that that's here on the first floor um, Also on the first floor is the residential life office so if you have any questions about um, your residence hall uh, You're gonna want to come here to student services on the first floor the second floor. We like to call it our money floor um, Not only is that where you have to pay money, but that's also where they give you money So it's definitely good to know about um, up there we have the cashier's office where you go and pay your bills um, here on campus. But we also have the financial aid and scholarship office. Um, so if you're looking to get some cash uh, for school, that's a good place to go and talk to them about scholarships and things like that. Um, and then on the third floor, we have the Career Services Center. Uh, it's really awesome. It's a great uh, resource for students. Get up, man. We got to wrap the interview, man. Come on. Come on, man. We can't be sleeping on the job. Sparky, come on. <laughs> oh, what's up? No. We, oh, we are in the MV. Oh, we're in the MV right now in the lounge. Um, felt myself taking a couple naps here a lot of times, but it's a nice place to chill out, you know, get some fresh AC, some good food and everything like that. So it's a real good spot on campus. Like Darby said, um, we're just in here chilling, taking a break from the heat. Uh, this is one of my favorite buildings on campus because this is where the food is. Um, so it's definitely a great place to know about it. Um, it's called the Memorial Union. We call it the MU. Uh, so when you hear that on campus, this is the building that people are talking about. Um, but here behind us is Pitchforks. That's the all-you-can-eat dining facility here on campus. Um, one of them. There's a couple around. Uh, it's a great place to come and eat. They have really good breakfast, so definitely check it out. Um, also, here on the first floor, there's a market that students can come to and get some food if you want to keep food in your residence hall. Um, and then there's tons of other places to eat here on campus. Um, there's Starbucks, Einstein Bagels, Papa John's, a Mexican food place, a Chinese food place. Tons of places to eat. Um, we also have the information desk over here, so if you ever lose anything on campus, that's a great place to go. Um, on the first floor as well, there is a Wells Fargo Bank and a Verizon Wireless store, so if you need those services, they're right here in the MU. Um, cool thing about this building in the basement, there's actually a place called Sparky's Den. Sparky's Den! <laughs> um, Sparky likes to hang out over there. Um, <laughs> There's actually a bowling alley down there, as well as pool tables and arcade. It's a really fun place to hang out, and it's really cheap. So if you're ever looking for something fun to do on a Friday night, definitely check out Sparky's Den. Um, downstairs, we also have Burger King, Quiznos, um, and Jamba Juice. So definitely check that out. On the second floor of this building um, is where all the ballrooms are. So if you ever have any guest lectures for class or things like that, they're often here on the second floor. And then on the third floor is where all the um, clubs and organizations are, such as the Programming and Activities Board. Um, undergraduate Student Government is on the top floor as well. Um, so I know you guys are super busy being student athletes and everything, but if you ever want to get involved in anything else on campus, this is where you're going to want to go. This is where it's at. 
Yes, like she said, this is where the food's at, so this is where you want to be. Oh, another thing, though, you can find a lot of cute girls here, too, by the way, so <laughs> you might want to come here. <laughs> There's lots of construction going on, but this is the business school. Well, yeah, <laughs> we have W.P. Carey School of Business. <laughs> Pat Tillman graduated from business school. It's under a lot of construction. That's why I'm talking loud. Can you hear me? <laughs> the business school is one of our most famous schools here at Arizona State. Um, it's the second largest college on campus, graduates the fourth most students. Uh, it is very prestigious. Um, but also here at the WP Carry, there's another Starbucks. You can't see it right now because um, it's all under construction. Um, but it's just another Starbucks to know about. There's four on campus. So. Hey guys, we're here in the SRC, the Student Recreation Complex. Um, it's a really cool place to come and work out. I know you guys have your own little workout area, but this is a fun place as well. Uh, we have over 100 cardio machines here, ellipticals, bicycles. Um, anything you could possibly need, treadmills as you can see. Uh, all of our equipment here at the SRC has these 12 inch LCD TV screens on them. So you won't have to worry about missing the Monday night football game or the uh, episode of Grey's Anatomy this week. Uh, you can come here and work out and watch it um, while you're running, so it's perfect. Also down here um, and on the second floor as well, we have 16 handball and racquetball courts, so you can rent those out. Uh, admission to the SRC is included in your tuition payment, so you're paying for it, come and use it. Um, the pool is awesome, it's heated, uh, it's really awesome, come hang out. There's actually free Wi-Fi throughout the entire campus, including here at the pool, so you can come hang out, do your homework, um, watch Sparky practicing his push-ups um, for the game, so it's really awesome. I know a lot of people come hang out by the pool and don't forget your student ID. Yeah, yeah, uh. Walk. It's actually the most photographed area on campus and you can see why it's beautiful. Um, we like to point it out just because it is like the center of campus so if you're looking at a map or you ever find yourself a little lost and confused as to where you are, um, this goes all the way from North Campus from University Bridge all the way down to the Student Recreation Complex where we just came from. Um, so it's sort of like the central nervous system of the campus. Uh, so if you can get yourself to Palm Walk, you usually can find where you're going from there. Be yeah. careful when walking on Palm Walk. There's lots of accidents, bike <laughs> accidents on Palm Walk, Very skateboarding nice. accidents. Yes. Uh, yeah, people hitting just walkers.